Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 3 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 12. Now, right here, I want to find the value of x. So to start, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 3 to the power of x plus 1, this is going to equal 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 1. And this is equal to 12. Now 12, I'm going to rewrite as 3 times 4. And now, as you can see, since both sides have 3 in them, I'm going to simply divide both sides by 3. So then these two cancel out and these two cancel out. And now I'm simply left with 3 to the power of x is equal to 4. Now 4 here, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I have log 3 to the power of x is equal to log 2 to the power of 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, it's going to equal, well, I can now move my exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 3 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. And log 2 to the power of 2, I can move 2 to the front. So these are going to equal x times log 3 and 2 times log 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 3. So then these two cancel out. And now I'm going to be left with x is equal to 2 times log 2 over log 3. Now, the value for log 2 is equal to 0 0.301. And log 3, this is equal to 0 0.4771. So now I have 2 times 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771. Now 2 times 0 0.301, that's going to equal 0 0.602 over 0 0.4771, which is equal to 1.26. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 27 to the power of 27 plus 27 to the power of 27 plus 27 to the power of 27. Now, I'm going to first start by factoring out 27 to the power of 27. So now I have 27 to the power of 27 times. Now, 27 divided by 27 is simply equal to 1. So I have 27 to the power of 27 times 1 plus, again, 1, plus, again, 1. Now, this is simply equal to 27 to the power of 27 times 1 plus 1 plus 1. That's going to equal 3. Now, this, I can rewrite as 27 to the power of 27 times 3. And 3... This is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. Because anything is the same thing as that number to the power of 1. So this is going to equal 27 to the power of 27 times 3 to the power of 1. Now 27 here, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So now if I replace 3 to the power of 3 with 27, I get 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 27 times 3 to the power of 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, 
this is equal to a to the power of n times n. So in this case, 3 to the power of 3 to the power of 27, that's going to equal 3 to the power of 3 times 27. And I have this times 3 to the power of 1. Now, 3 times 27, that's simply equal to 81. So now I have 3 to the power of 81 times 3 to the power of 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is simply equal to a to the power of m plus n. So in this case, 3 to the power of 81 times 3 to the power of 1, this is going to equal 3 to the power of 81 plus 1. Now, 81 plus 1, that's simply equal to 82. So now this is going to equal 3 to the power of 82. So this is the final answer. All right, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the power of 6 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And m times n m and n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this is the same thing as a to the power of n times n. And if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, this means that a to the power of n times m, this can equal a to the power of n to the power of m. And all this means that a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So these two are the same thing. So in this case, I have x to the power of x to the power of 6 to the power of 6. And we can think of x to the power of 6 in this case as m and 6 as n. So I'm going to simply switch these two places. So now I have x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 6 equal y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 144 to the power of 6. And now 144 is the same thing as 12 to the power of 2. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 12 to the power of 2 to the power of 6. Now remember if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 12 to the power of 2 to the power of 6 that's going to equal 12 to the power of 2 times 6, which is 12 to the power of 12. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 12. Now, remember how we set x to the power of 6 equal to y. So if x to the power of 6 is equal to y, and y is equal to 12, this means that x to the power of 6 is equal to 12. So now... I'm going to be taking the power of 1 sixth on both sides. So I have x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 sixth is equal to 12 to the power of 1 sixth. Now 6 and 1 sixth these two cancel out. So now I'm left with x is equal to 12 to the power of 1 sixth. And this is the same thing as the sixth root of 12. So this is my answer.